I use the organic whole flax seeds and I don't have an exact measurement that I use. You kind of eyeball it. You can't really go wrong. So I do a half, a little over a half a pot of water and then I put the flax seeds in. I kind of eyeball what I think I need. I probably use about like one fourth of a cup. Um, and then I stir it to make sure that all the flax seeds kind of reach the bottom. The ones on top are like the lighter ones are probably in half that you see floating around in a circle there. And I just let it boil. Um, you don't want to put too much water in because it will, bo it will boil over. So just be careful with that. And continue to stir out through the process to make sure that those flax seeds aren't sticking to the bottom of the pan. And you want to um, continue to stir it to make sure that you see the texture change. And you'll know when it's ready. See Jill, this is how my hair still looks after about a week and a half. It's still bouncy. I can still wear this down. And I love it. This is going to be my new staple product. Like waxy gel. It doesn't get any cheaper. Nor easier to make. Like organic. Like natural for you. Like you can eat it. Come on now. So I will be using this strainer to strain out the seeds. Um. It's a very fine strainer. Can't really see, but it's very fine. So at this point, I just wanted to show you where the consistency was at. As you can see, like, it's very getting very gel-like. And I just wanted you to see that consistency. And it's bubbling over and that all that white stuff is all that gel really jelly up there and some more slow-mo because I wanted you to also see um, as it gets further along it's really starting to thicken up very much So once you grab a fork and um, you lift it up and down, it's going to like be very thick, very mucus-like, um, and the top is going to be very white and foamy and just very gel-like. Um, it's okay if it's not 100% like jelly-like, it's like mixed with water because as the solution sits there, it's going to thicken up. So now we've made it to the second part and I am, you know, washing, detangling my hair. Right now I'm loosening up my strands under the water. I'm trying to get everything loose so that when I do go to detangle with the brush, it'll be a little more easier. My hair is very thick, you guys. It's It gets very tangled and I have to make sure I like make Make it so I can put the, the least amount of stress onto my strands of hair. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm not even detangling it. <laughs> that's my hair dry looking crazy. And now that my hair is all saturated and wet, I'm going to go on to the next step of my washing process, which is going to be hopefully girl grabbing that shampoo bottle. Okay, so that's my African black soap. Um, shout out to my girl Jessie because she made it for me. Bless her heart. That stuff is amazing. And it's it is like some like peppermint is in there, essential oil, and it's, it's like so relaxing. It smells so good in the steam. I love it. At least I believe it's peppermint. It might be tea tree or peppermint. I honestly forgot which one it is. But yep. So I normally you guys I do um set separate my hair but today I was kind of rushing a little bit so now all my shampoo is rinsed off and I'm going to get ready to put the the oil in my hair which is avocado oil and olive oil 
and it does my hair very good, y'all. Keep in mind, I didn't even have to use conditioner with the products that I've used. I didn't use any products at all, and I just want to be thorough about that. Like, this is all 100% natural. It was all hand homemade, and you can't go wrong with it. And my hair is grateful for all that. <laughs> So the way that I apply my flaxseed gel is I make sure my hair is saturated in water. Seriously, saturated in water as if I just got out the shower. I make sure it's wet and I'm going to properly distribute the flaxseed gel from my ends going up the strands and doing the smoothing method and um, that makes it so no dandruff is going to be created after it dries it just makes everything better my curls clump together and i use a heavy amount i'm not i use a heavy amount and that's really what you need so So welcome back. Um, this is day. I'm gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. This is day. All right. I have a little bottle. My little bottle is like avocado oil and olive oil. It's a little drop in there. But I'm just gonna use this so my hair don't get too frizzy and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna put about a quarter amount, and I'm just gonna put it all over my hair, all over my hair. Keep in mind y'all, I normally do smaller braids, like there probably would have been about 8 braids, but and if you see me looking like over there above and stuff y'all, I'm apologize because I'm looking at my little flip mirror <laughs> and it's like really convenient, I'm not gonna lie, so I'll probably look crazy if I keep looking at it the whole time, so I'm gonna try to look at y'all, but look, y'all my hair is so soft bouncy I'm not going to fluff it out yet I told my boyfriend I like Thelma from Scooby Doo Thelma
y'all, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I be really lazy and um, I don't take these braids out for like a week. I just let them be because I don't care. I don't give two F's. Like, if it's gonna help me, like, stop manipulating my hair. Stop letting it get all in and knot it up because I take too long to mess with it. I mean, I'm going to keep it in a braid to keep my sanity and my hair intact. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, leave me a comment below if you would wear your hair just like this all styling or nothing, because I would. Because I don't care. I'm just going to do it a little bit, y'all. A little bit of work here. Just, I'm probably just going to separate each twist into two little things, and that's it. That's it, like, down this middle right here, like that. That's it. You see what I'm doing? Because. My hair does not deserve to be uh fluffed out completely because I'll be back in a whole nother era. You hear me? Oh yes, I love this, y'all. Perfect. So I got this hair washed it with this homemade shampoo that my girl made me, Africa Black Soap. Shout out to Jessie. Love her. But um, she gave me that, so I've been using it like for a month, y'all. So I've washed my hair every two weeks, and I've been using that. I haven't used shampoo at all, y'all. I have not used shampoo, and my hair is fine. My hair ain't been itching. It ain't, as far as I can tell, it ain't been like dirty or nothing. Like it ain't been like dandruffy or something. Like no product, no product buildup because I've only been putting my little solution of avocado and um avocado and olive oil I've been using this kind of as my conditioner um, if my hair was really messed up I probably would if this over dry like spritz with some water and put in some dry hair and put in a cap to sit in a minute just to let it you know kind of get in the roots and get in some strands and penetrate deep in there so that it'd be easier to manage we don't need no knots not today and this is going to last me, y'all. This will last me a week, probably down in a week up. And I should be okay. When I'm saying okay is I should be okay on wash day. Like, I'll survive. Because it ain't going to be that bad, okay? So, y'all, I ain't playing this. I don't know what I'm about to do here. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. Back in this bug. I'm going to block pins in my hair but it is what it is Actually, I'm gonna put a scarf on my hair. Bye! So thank you all for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and like and comment and subscribe and let me know if this is something that you would try. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram, This Girl Natural, and I'll see you all later. Don't forget to show the world your kindness. Love you. Bye.